So if I was loading up my oblique posterior sling, how could I load up my latissimus dorsi on the right side and my glute on the left side and utilize this energy between? Well, in the past, we might have done low rowing exercises or single arm rowing exercise and think, well, I've worked lat dorsi now. I might have done deadlifts and squats and thought, well, now I have worked my glutes. But if I work these together, I can integrate the two muscles along the sling. So if I was picking up a heavy object from the ground or pulling against something and brought my left foot forward, automatically my glutes engaged on this side. Well, I can use that sling now with this latissimus dorsi pulling using this glute as its base. You'll see there I'm in a little bit of hip flexion and I'm in less hip flexion as I come up. So I've actually pulled across that sling. If you see the creases in my shirt, there's the direction of the sling. And the two ends of the sling come towards each other so that the glute works with the lat dorsi on the opposite side and help pull the load through. That's a posterior oblique sling pattern.